The voice of thanksgiving will always give credence or make action. So nobody will ever wonder if you're thankful for whatever it is because you'll always give action to it. Welcome to A Father's Heart with Dr. Phil Godot. Dr. Brenda Godot. We are a family-friendly church that teaches the Word of God so you can live an effective Christ-centered life. This is where the Word works when you work the Word. Subscribe to us on YouTube and see the latest videos from Drs. Philip and Brenda Godot. It's easy. I am the God of more than enough. I am a El Shaddai God. I'll bring you back and then I'll lift you up. Just log on to YouTube and type in Philip Godot Ministries and then just click subscribe. The video messages are right there on your screen. And if you're out and about, we also have a smartphone app so you can catch the Godots on the go. The app is easy to find. Just search Calvary Christian Center for both Android and iPhone users. Stay informed, stay connected, and stay encouraged on YouTube and with our amazing app. And now, our A Father's Heart broadcast. Being thankful and understanding thanksgiving uh, and how that the enemy works real hard to move us like I shared the testimony. We can, one day you could, because if you have not solid in the word of God, the enemy will try to get you to move you through circumstances to move you out of faith into doubt and unbelief concerning God's ability to help you. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Can I ask a question in here to you today? How many of you have had some bad things happen in your life? Some, some unpleasant things. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We all have had a crisis in your life. And these crises that the enemy uses or these circumstances is to change our attitude from being grateful and from being thankful to being unthankful and ungrateful. So all of us have had some, and you know what really the, the thing is, is that many of you and, and all of us in here, basic I can say, is going to still be faced with more challenges. But it's your attitude, how you go into that area, that's going to make the difference how you're going to come out. Amen. See, now I'm interested in, in how I come out of a situation, not just having a situation. And some of you in here today are probably still in a situation that you should be out of. That you should be out of, but because of your ungratefulness or, or unthankfulness, you have been staying in something too long that you shouldn't have been in. Say that. But because of this attitude of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of ungratefulness, you know, it's always somebody in worse condition than you are. It's always somebody going through something worse than you have went through. And, and we lose sight of it. But see, what God, that's why God brought the word, I believe, the word of faith. The word of faith to us is that we would learn how to live and walk by what? And not by what? Or walk by the external circumstances that come along in our life and be moved out of faith to doubt and unbelief. Because what God wants us to do is to believe him regardless of what your situation is. That he can still <laughs> let me go, y'all the wrong side. Okay, let me go to the side. That he can still, watch, look at it, that he can still turn it around. Turn it around. No matter how bad it is, but if I'm looking at the situation, watch this here, talking about the situation, crying about the situation, instead of speaking the word of God over the situation, then the situation is going to only get magnified more in our life. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So when we learn how to learn how to speak the word, the word of God, I'm justified by my words or I'm condemned by my word. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I can speak life or I can speak death. So what, no matter what life throws you today or this coming month or this coming year, you got to be men and women of faith. And you got to believe 
that God is big enough and bad enough and tough enough to handle any situation and that your turnaround, watch this here, your turnaround is in your mouth. Wow. Turn your neighbor and tell him, it's in your mouth. Your turnaround is in your mouth. But if you continually allow yourself to be negative concerning, I don't know why I'm on this side, <laughs> concerning your ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, your ex-boss, your, your next-door neighbor, you know, you, get, you, get, you got all these attitudinal situation where you are negative about it and you know when somebody is negative and un what grateful or unthankful you know what they do they talk about it all the time can i just tell you something on this side over here you run across somebody who's unthankful and ungrateful run from them remember the last time you jumped into your car excited to go somewhere you turned the key and the battery was dead well, a lot of people's lives are like that car, going nowhere. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God, and faith only comes by hearing. I'm Pastor Phil, and I want to invite you to join us every Sunday morning at Calvary Christian Center. Be sure to visit our website, calvarychristian.com. That's calvarychristian.com for more information. We're out here putting some action to what we believe. <laughs> Doing it for the Lord and the community and trying to make a difference. At the same time, we can reach souls as we're going along. But I see a lot of leaves and stuff. Oh, man, here's another one. It's amazing what you can accomplish with a bunch of people doing it all at once. We love you, everybody, at Del Paso Heights. I think this is the love of Jesus Christ coming into the community rather than waiting for people to come into the church. I think it's great for the community. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Because we're part of the community too, so yeah, it's a big deal for us. Hey guys, I need everybody to clear this path. If I can get this bag tight. <laughs> yeah. It looks good out here. I think it's really nice. They're cleaning up our neighborhood. I'm just in, in awe. I mean, I do my yard all the time, and to have someone do it like this is just like, I feel so good. I just want to cry. I want to cry. Thank you, Jesus. It's fun. With the volunteers, I mean, young, old, whatever, they're really doing a good job. Yeah. God providing and keeping the weather back. It's a good thing. Hallelujah. Cleaning up the city. This is our community. We take pride in our communities. Most people will complain when they see it, but we've got to be willing to keep our own communities clean. God is good God, all the time to me. And we're going to actually touch the community with the love of Christ, and we're not going to just talk about it. So I run, I run for people. I'm sure talking bad. Oh, excuse me. Just, let me see you later. <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, don't want to talk to you because I don't want to be around you and you draw something to me. Spirits are transferable. Now turn with me in your Bible. I know y'all were saying, when is he going to read the Bible? <laughs> Here we go. Psalms 26. And we're going to go through his Psalms 26. And um, so I, I have to fight. There's a fight going on. And, and Paul said, I have fought the good fight of what? Oh, man, we got the right people in this section here. I have fought the good fight of what? Faith. Now, you know what the good fight of faith is a lot of time, too, is fighting to maintain a good attitude. Fighting to maintain a good attitude while you're going through. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. While you're going what? Through. Through it. Through it. And nobody likes going through it. But, but you shouldn't, while you're going through it, build a tent right. in it. Some folks, they, they quit building tents. They didn't build a house <laughs> in the situation because they're continually running their mouth about how bad this is and how bad that is. Everything is subject to change. In Psalms 26, are you there? Yes. Psalms 26 and verse 7. Psalms 26 and verse 7. 
that I may publish with the voice of what? With the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all of his wondrous works. Come on, y'all. You need to underline the whole thing. I know y'all can't do that and put brackets and stars on it, but do something to it if you, uh, in your Bible. That I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Can, is it, do I, can I just ask a question on this side over here? Do we have a voice of thanksgiving on this yeah. side? Yeah. 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 You know, when you have a voice, <laughs> you know, when you have a voice of thanksgiving, everybody knows Amen. that you have that voice of thanksgiving. Amen. I will publish. In other words, everywhere I get a chance to, Every time I get an opportunity, I'm going to publish with a voice of what? With a voice of what? With a voice of thanksgiving, how good God's been to me. Yes. You know, a, a lot of you in here today, you, you probably wish things were better for you than where you are right now. You probably wish you was making more money. You probably wish that maybe you, if you need healing that you were whole and healthy or, or maybe you might be praying secretly that your husband might be better or your wife might be better or, or you had a bigger house or something. You want something better than where you are right now. Amen. Come on, just tell the truth. Stay in the church. And, and so you, 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 but see, you cannot allow what has not happened to govern you to, you, govern you to where God wants to do in your life. Because if I get unthankful because I don't have this happening for me now, See, that's why Paul said, I am content in whatever state I'm in, but not content does not mean to be docile or to lack in, in faith of God's ability to still take you further. Some people use the word content to stop believing God. See, I'm content, but I ain't happy that I'm where I am. I know that God got more for me, so I'm going to keep pressing towards the mark of a higher calling in the anointed one and his anointed. Are y'all with me? We are making a difference in our community with two major events in December. The Big Cleanup, where we go out and pick up trash and offer free landscaping for our neighbors. I think this is the love of Jesus Christ coming into the community rather than waiting for people to come into the church. I think it's great for the community. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Because we're part of the community too, so yeah, big deal for us. It's how we connect and our big giveaway. It's really a good way to bring everybody together. I think it's fantastic. It's something nice for the community. Helpful lot. It's, it's a blessing. So all this stuff's really helpful right now. I didn't have any money for toys for my kids, so I got them some toys. I want an easy bake oven. One of the things that we, we here at Calvary love to do is give back to the community, and I think that comes from following our leader, our pastor, Pastor Philip George Godot. It's amazing to go and give back. Economy's tough for the more the holidays. <laughs> I want shark teeth on the shark necklace. Yeah. Uh, we like to be part of the community, let them know that we're here to support them and, uh, you know, whatever it is that we can do to help and be part of the community, you know, that's what we want to do. We give away free Christmas gifts to families in need and a whole lot more. There's bags of food. They'll be served out through the window in the parking lot. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. I'm definitely grateful. <laughs> it's going to help my family out in a big way because I wasn't able. So join us for the big cleanup and the big giveaway in December, only at Calvary Christian Center. See, it's the word that is going to deliver me. Because God watches over his word to perform it. God is a, a doing God. So if I will speak the word by his, I'm healed. Huh? My God supplies all my need according to riches. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. If I start speaking the word, not only does God back up his word, but God has angels that back up his word. So if I will hold fast to the voice of thanksgiving, 
And no matter what, I don't understand why I'm doing, going through this. I don't understand why this is happening to me. But I'm going to thank God. I don't understand it. But I thank you that you are uh, uh, my almighty God, that you are El Shaddai, El Elyon. I thank you that you're big enough. God, I thank you that you love me. You gave your life for me. And you're going to work this out on my behalf. And I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to cry about it. But I'm just going to thank my way. I'm going to thank my way all the way through. All the way through, I'm just going to give thanks to God that you can turn this situation around and you can make it happen. Now, I know that I got at least three of y'all that know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all been through hell and back. But because you didn't lose, you know, there's a song that I, I really like. I, what, you heard it? I never lost my praise. Oh, no, we're going to sing that song today. Uh, not right now, right now, right now. Come on, man, stand up. No, I never lost my praise. Come on, Pastor. Go through the cancer through the job loss, through the divorce, through the misunderstanding, through all the lies and wonders, I never lost my praise. When they thought I was all over with for me, when they thought it wasn't going to happen for me, God turned it around. <coughs> Do I got any believers in here today? Just push your neighbor and tell them, give voice to your praise. Give voice to your praise. Give voice. Give voice to your thanksgiving. Everybody should know you're thankful. Come on, say, why are you so happy? Because my happiness is not based upon what's going on around me. My happiness is based upon what has in, happened inside of me. If I can keep it here in me, it will come out. out of me, and then what comes out. will be all a around me. Right. It might not be there now, but it's going to come. Hey. Right. And you're going to see my... And don't you get jealous <laughs> when you start seeing my happiness manifest all around me. Don't you get jealous. Don't you start talking about me because you couldn't maintain your thankfulness, and you got into unthankful and ungratefulness, and therefore... You have succumbed to it, and now you are manifesting what is in you is coming. And now you are manifesting ungratefulness is all around you. Wow. Okay, look with me in your Bible. <laughs> in Psalms 92. Psalms 92. We got a lot. Listen to me. There's everybody in here and they're going to listen to this CD and all the rest of it or whatever. Listen, all of us can have a lot to complain about. Push your neighbor again and tell him, you know he's talking to you right now. You're not going to get, you don't, I'm the wrong person to come to for sympathy. Don't come to me crying and make you think I'm going to feel sorry for you because I have been through too much hell. That for me to feel sorry for you, you better learn how to use this word yourself. That's right. Because working the word will work for you. Yes. See, I've been working this for 40 years. I'm not no baby. I'm not no amateur. I've been through it. I can tell you, I can swap stories with you all day. You got curly hair, I can make your hair straight. <laughs> you that got straight hair, I can make yours curly. You that have no hair, well, in Jesus' name, we can grow it, I think, in Jesus' name. <laughs> listen to it, listen to it. can share stories with you. Right. See, people, when they see somebody like me, they just think you ain't never went through Come nothing. On, they have no idea that, see, God gave me a gift to teach, but he didn't give me a gift to live it. Wow. I had to work this word out. I'm living this word out every day. Yes, you do. Come on, Pastor. And I got evidence of the word working. Yes. Follow them whose faith yes. precedes them. Yes. Yes. Now look what it says in 90, Psalms 92. Now, I know the devil, he don't like this, this kind of stuff, you know, because he, he wants you to go to the next year, today, next week. You know, some people going to have Thanksgiving today, and they're going to say, what the heck to be, I'm going to need to be thankful for. 
Huh? They're going to be sitting right up there and be having an attitude because they don't have a job, because things haven't went their way, or because they got a divorce or somebody didn't happen for them, and they're going to be at a Thanksgiving dinner today with an unhappy, unthankful spirit. And they're going to try to poison other people because you got to be careful because when you're around those kind of people, the spirit of them is contagious. All of a sudden, you start thinking about what some things you can be unhappy about and ungrateful for. They say, you know, you're some old bitter old witch flying on some broom. <laughs> you got to be careful. You got to be careful. How you deal with rejection. How you deal with, 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 unfor with unforgiveness or how... Uh, people have hurt you. You've got to be very careful how you deal with everything that comes into your life. Because most of every negative thing comes in your life is come for a reason to destroy the good things that God wants to do in your life. Amen. Psalms 91 and verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Is that what it says? Yes. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And look what it says here. And, and, I, and, and, and I will say of the Lord, he is my what? Fortress. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, come on y'all, and in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. I wish I had some people in here. And for the noisy pestilence. Yeah. Surely. Somebody shout out, surely. 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 You can go to bed tonight just saying, surely. 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 It's, enough, it's enough faith in surely to be able to, to bring deliverance in your life. Amen. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress and my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy pestilence. He shall cover thee with his what? Yes. And under his wings shall thou what? Yes. His what? Truth. Shall be thy shield and buckler. Yes. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy what? Thy. And ten thousand at thy right hand. Yes. But it shall not come nigh thee. Watch, watch what it says. It shall not come in. In other words, it didn't say actually, it, it really, it was not saying it won't come nigh thee. It will not prevail against you. Now that you have heard the word, I'm asking you to open the door to your heart and ask Jesus Christ to come in. So you do that now. And if you ask to invite him in to your life, he says, Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart. And invite you into my life as my Lord and Savior. You do that. Christ is in your life. We're shouting with you, rejoicing with you. And so I'd just like for you to email us or write us or call, or you could uh, uh, get a hold of us through Twitter or Facebook at Philip Godot. At Philip Godot, Twitter or uh, Facebook. And I tell you what, we're going to respond back to you. We're shouting with you. Looking forward to hearing more from you. Any prayer requests also. So what does expectation do? It changes what I'm saying. I'm starting to expect and believe. If I believe it and I'm expecting it, then I'm going to say it. In Dr. Godot's message, Expecting Kingdom Manifestations, you'll learn that in order to receive from God, you must have a spirit and attitude of expectation. Because you already know that He loves you and He cares about you. And he has a good plan for you. If you don't believe it, Come on. that's why we're teaching you so you can get faith in the word of that's God. That's it, that's it. Well, actually, what I got out of it was confirmation. And then to come here and to hear a pastor, Sister Cado, speak about it, just open up the windows and let me know that, hey, I'm on the right track. It was right on time. I'm grateful for the report because it was a good reminder. We are very excited and we are keeping our expectations high so God can bring the manifested word in our lives. Ditto. All you see is misery, if all you see is sickness and disease, if all you see is yourself being single, if all you see is marriage your problem, 
God can't change your life until he changes what you're seeing. Follow those that believe, and that is his pleasure. Yes. It's your father's pleasure to give you the keys to the kingdom. God wants to fulfill your greatest desires, but you must expect that he will first. Expectation brings manifestation. Order your copy today. making a difference in our community with two major events in December. The Big Cleanup, where we go out and pick up trash and offer free landscaping for our neighbors. I think this is the love of Jesus Christ coming into the community rather than waiting for people to come into the church. I think it's great for the community. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Because we're part of the community too, so yeah, big deal for us. It's how we connect and our big giveaway. It's really a good way to bring everybody together. I think it's fantastic. It's something nice for the community. Helpful lot. It's, it's a blessing. So all this stuff's really helpful right now. I didn't have any money for toys for my kids, so I got them some toys. I want an easy bake oven. One of the things that we, we here at Calvary love to do is give back to the community, and I think that comes from following our leader, our pastor, Pastor Philip George Godot. It's amazing to go and give back. Economy's tough for the more holidays. <laughs> I want shark teeth on the shark necklace. Yeah. Uh, we like to be part of the community, let them know that we're here to support them and, uh, you know, whatever it is that we can do to help and be part of the community, you know, that's what we want to do. We give away free Christmas gifts to families in need and a whole lot more. There's bags of food. They'll be served out through the window in the parking lot. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. I'm definitely grateful. <laughs> it's going to help my family out in a big way because I wasn't able. So join us for the big cleanup and the big giveaway in December, only at Calvary Christian Center. And if you are going through tough times in your personal life and need someone to pray for you right now, call our prayer counselors. They are standing by waiting to speak with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 800-299-0593. You don't have to deal with your problems alone. We are here to pray and agree with you that God will intervene on your behalf and turn your situation around. Or if you know someone who needs help, have them call our prayer team right now at 800-299-0593. We're here for you. We are making a difference in our community. Don't forget, you can always learn more about us on the web. For the very latest ministry updates and news, and to continue the conversation, you can find us on Facebook. So come on, turn on your smartphone and tweet and post. Thank you, partners. This has been a Philip Godot Ministries broadcast.